Hi guys, this is Vidur. I'm a senior systems engineer in Juniper Networks for Mist Wireless. And in today's video, we'll understand what Marvis is and uh, what kind of commands you can enter in Marvis to get good information about your network and how Marvis can be useful for you to troubleshoot various issues as well. Okay, so this is the Mist dashboard. You, I'm sure you know how it looks now. Uh, Marvis is the first virtual network assistant and it's AI driven and you know that works on NLP and transforms the way how the IT teams interact with the networks and also you know helps in streamlining operations and also boost user experience on the ground right so so what you need to understand is Marvis is is a virtual network assistant that works on natural language processing and it's powered by AI so let's click on the Marvis tab here on the screen and we'll see how it looks like and how we can use it for our networks okay so two things guys marvis understands natural language okay it's just like your your siri or okay google or alexa it will understand your your natural language and give you answers accordingly and it, it fetches the answers to those questions from real time data in the network okay uh, the two things that you need to understand is natural language and the query language tab here okay we will we'll talk about the actions tab in another video that's that's marvis action we'll discuss more about that in the, in another video so how marvis makes your life easy on the ground is let's say you have a network running uh, and and you manage the network you're a network manager or 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 even even in the it team and you have somebody at the help desk sitting you know trying to take uh, complaints from people who are facing a uh, facing facing some issues in the network or having a tough time on the ground okay so uh, somebody who has no experience on wireless somebody has who has no experience in the it field or technology is sitting at the help desk trying to take calls and understand what the issues are and then they will report it to you so that you can take some actions now you as a network manager or an it guy would not want you know every small thing raised up to you every small thing you you know coming up to you you know with, with clients not able to connect or client having a bad time in the network or if they're able to connect they're having you know they're having a really bad speed okay so how marvis helps you is let's say uh, you know let's see how which all clients do we have connected in the in the network right now i see a lot of clients so we'll just take denali so let's say for example if denali gives me a call i'm sitting at the help desk if Denali gives me a call and tells me, you know what, I'm having a bad time in the network, I'm not able to connect to the internet just fine. So what I'll do is I'll I'll be just do this. I'll type this command trouble. I'm sorry. Troubleshoot Denali and hit enter. So what I did was even though I did not do not know anything about network or technology, I'll just click on I'll just type uh, troubleshoot Denali and I'll and, and, and what Marvis did was Marvis converted that natural language into a query language for it to understand here here is the query language tab okay so it 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 converted the natural language into query language for it to understand and now you can actually select uh, is it for today or is it last 7 days i'm going to just choose the data for last 7 days and hit enter and then i will get a response in real time as to what's what's denali going through in my in, in the network over the last 7 days what what has been the issue with Denali so uh, it gives us a very good first line summary as to what's going on it says uh, you know we found one service level like problem affecting this particular client that's time to connect it tells us this is, this is due to slow association the problem is widespread at the site live demo now this is critical guys it it took it took it it took missed a lot of time to get this part right widespread because this is actually isolating the issue down for you whether the, this problem is client specific this problem is site spec uh, site specific this problem is widespread so these are the kind of keywords you will see in this area so this is actually isolating the issue down for you to an extent and letting you know you know this problem is spread across multiple clients or widespread at this particular site it's happening on this particular access point of course and this particular site at the 5 gigahertz span now this is great because for someone who doesn't know anything about wireless or technology, he or she has an answer, you know, as to what's really going on with the client. Now, if, if he or she wants to troubleshoot more, there's the investigate button here, which which let's let's click that and see what happens. It takes us to the next page where it talks about whatever uh, whatever SREs we want to check for this particular client, classifiers, correlations, updates, events, and and yeah, and, and SLEs, of course. So we'll click on the SLEs. Let's see where it takes us. And it, it, it talks to us and tells us, you know, the average time to connect is 11 seconds for this this particular client. That, that's massively high. 
you know i think if if i remember correctly uh, the goal for uh, for us to uh, go on the internet was defined as around 2 seconds on this particular site so if if this client takes 11 seconds that that's a big problem right that's a massive problem so now I, wh what i want to do is you know uh, denali calls me and tells me you know what yesterday at 5 pm i had an issue i could not authenticate fine you know and and you need to look at it so i know where to look at i know i know i need to click on events something that i want to check as to what the client went through during that time and i'll hit straight on to the bad events here so on this particular page i'll see all the events good neutral and bad but i i but i know you know where i want to go and look at i'll click on the bad events once i do that yeah it's going to populate up and it's going to basically show show me a lot of authorization failures so i understand you know seems to be some sort of an authorization problem at this, at this point in time and now i can just scroll down check the reason and also download the packet captures from marvis itself now for someone who doesn't know anything about technology and wireless he or she has the packet captured now he or she can drop an email to you saying you know what hey boss uh then ali faced an issue at this point in time here is the packet capture you can go and troubleshoot from there on now you can actually bring up a tag case after that without having to do uh you know much you can just give them the case give them the packet capture and they'll and then and then they you know they'll take it from there and troubleshoot the issue out for you uh, so this this saves a lot of time this saves a lot of effort for for somebody who has got a lot on his plate uh, especially a network manager who is taking care of a lot of things on the ground uh, this is done uh, you know in minutes and the person uh, who's the help desk person and you know he or she can have answers readily with marvis available okay fantastic that that is one way of troubleshooting a, a client now let's say i'm i'm actually a network manager and i just want to look at you know overall you know what's what's really going on with my site how things are so i'm going to just type what is uh you know uh what is wrong with my site now if i hit enter it's going to quickly take me to a different page and ask me you know which which site are you talking about that's that's how intelligent it is to understand you know there was no site name mentioned here it's going to ask us you know which site i'm going to hit live demo and click on continue it's going to give me a good one level one line summary as to what's really going on with my client during uh, with with my site during today i can change it to last 7 days if i want just to get get a good view of the last 7 days and as to how my site was and then it converted my simple english into a query language for it to understand and then give me give me good results out of it as well right similarly i can just go ahead and investigate and, and figure out as to what's really going on or let's say if if i want to you know just check which all clients are having a bad time in my network any client that is having a you know horrible time or or not not having not happy on the ground or somebody who's unhappy i can just go ahead and type unhappy users and hit enter what is going to do is going to change the unhappy user english into a uh, status of client with site live demo during today it's just change that into query language again i'm going to take it to last 7 days and hit enter let's see what it populates it's going to it should give me a list of all the clients yeah there you go so these clients are having a bad time in the network which basically mean any client that is not passing the sds that's that is the client that's having a bad time right so it will populate the list of all the clients that actually failed the sds over the last 7 days and give me the answer and give me the list of all those things so that's the power of marvis now marvis is actually doing all this in real time okay and it's 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 fetching data and and running all sorts of machine algorithms on on the data that that it captures and gives you and gives you a good understanding and and gives you you know presents it to you in in a, in a way that that you can consume okay now there is one more feature added in marvis recently that i just want to highlight that particular command uh, i i i personally like it a lot it's it talks about roaming of any client let's say we we spoke about denali so i'll talk about denali uh so it 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 also tells us you know uh denali roamed from which ap to which ap and when exactly and was it a good roam or a bad roam or was it an okay roam and 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 tells us uh, you know uh, what we can look at so i'm going to change that to during from la today to last let's say 7 days i'm going to not choose 30 days there because 30 days is going to be a lot of data so i'm going to choose last 7 days and you know it tells us that it roamed once uh, from the gps ap to the marvis ap and it tells us you know when it roamed i see the rssi was minus 67 dbm to minus 62 dbm so which means it was a good roam it was not a bad roam any bad roam hap you know happening in the network can be captured by this command here in marvis now this is very interesting because 
I, I mean, this was recently introduced in Marvis and I and I had not seen it uh, before. But now when I see this, it's going to give me a good idea as to what the client is going through on the network on the ground if, if he or she faces any sort of an issue with roaming. So now here we can we can come here and, and write this command and, and, and get useful in, insights on, on what what's really going on in the in, in, uh, in the network. OK, so this is this is how Marvis works. And these are the few commands which you can actually check or, or let's say now while I'm here. I'm going to write list clients It's going to tell us, uh, you know, all the clients that were on the Wi-Fi here at my end uh, for the last 30 days. That's that's great information. Uh, and I think uh, if, if I may tell you, there, there, there are a lot of developments happening around Marvis. You, you're you going to see a, a, a lot more of Marvis uh, with Mist in the coming future. I think it's it's going to be in the first quarter of 2021 is, is something when they when when they might come up with something new in Marvis. Uh, keep an eye on that, guys. Uh, Marvis is going to evolve. Marvis is going to become great. And uh, if if you if you if you've seen Iron Man's and Iron Man movie, and you know uh, Iron Man as Jarvis, I think that's that's how the the name Marvis came up. So Mist has Marvis, just like Iron Man has Jarvis. Okay, that's also an AI engine. This is also an AI engine. Okay, so with Marvis, I would say you need a separate uh, license of Marvis to to uh, in your org. You need a VNA license. Uh, and with with Marvis, there's one more thing you get is uh, uh, let's let me click on the SLEs for now and take you to the home page of Mist. Uh, if, if we, I think we talked about SLEs in the in the last video, and and we know what SLEs are. But if you want to get client level SLEs, you know we we were able to get SLEs which were uh, site level, org level, and access point level. If you want to get the SLEs on the client level, you need the Marvis license for that. You know because that that is huge amount of data to understand what each client went through and how the SLE all seven SLEs look like on each client. You need a Marvis license to get that information. So if if I did not have a Marvis license, I would not see this tab client tab here. Let me zoom in here. Yeah. I will not see this client tab here if I did not have the Marvis license. I'll only see the org the org, org tab, I will see the site level, I'll see uh, uh, the AP level, but I will not see the client level details there. But with Marvis license, I do see it as well, a client level. Okay. So yeah, I think that's that's pretty much what I wanted to show you. This is just an introduction about Marvis. I'm gonna go in deep in the next video and, and talk more about Marvis action and, and what all cool things we can do from Marvis. And probably we can also speak about what's coming up next in Marvis. Uh, guys, uh, hopefully this was helpful for your for you know for all of you. And if you have any questions around Marvis, drop me a message, and I'll be more than happy to address that ASAP. Thank you so much, guys, for your time, and you have a wonderful day.